Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. Soul Brothers performance review. Puma. Back in this game. Yes. You get it? I mean, it's kind of nice to see. There's Yeah, it's pretty nice. It is their second basketball shoe. The first one being the Clyde Court Disrupts. This one's 130 bucks, which is kind of pricey, especially for like the quality of materials you know, that they offer in this shoe. And it's more expensive than the Clyde Quartz. So I guess this is supposed to be more of like that high-end model, right? That's probably what yeah. they were thinking. Um, but yeah, a lot of their people are now just wearing this instead of the Clyde Quartz. I wonder why. Yeah. Maybe it's because they like it better or it's because that they, they were told to, I don't know. I yeah, maybe they're pushing this now. Maybe, yeah, but this is the Puma Uproar. This is my performance review. Let's get it started off with the Tractiones. So you got a claw mark, it kind of reminds me of the Monster logo. The oh, Monster yeah. Energy drinks, you know, coming down like this. Monster collab. So it's just like lines and like hair, a little bit of herringbone. It's a pretty, pretty nice traction pattern. Okay, so on the clean cord, it's it's a pretty good bite. Not the best, like, you know, stop. It sticks like glue and stuff, but it stops. It stops pretty good. So yeah, on the clean cord, pretty nice. On dust, it, it's affected a little bit, but like the thing is, it's kind of weird, like it's, it just doesn't stick as well, that's it. Like even if I wipe or anything, it's just like, I get that consistent, just not good stick. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's not a, it's not a really, really bad slide or anything. It's just like not as good on a clean court, you know? So I don't know how I feel about that. Like, would you like, would you personally like to have like a, when dust sticks on it, it, it kind of sucks, but then you just wipe and then you have a few good softs, like really good softs, or is it just, do you want it to be like, oh, it's, dusty so you're just gonna have a consistent like pretty good stop i think i probably had the pretty good stop just because i hate wiping oh you hate wiping yes yeah, i really don't like to do it yeah because i get dust on my hand and then yeah. you just wipe it on your shirt it's it's dirty stuff, you know yeah i don't know at all it's all it's all preference but for me like when i was playing that's what happened to me you know like even if it was a little dirty or dusty like no matter how much i wiped it just wasn't like a really good bite you know so uh, that was kind of weird and also durability. I don't know man like it, it is uh, I, It feels soft But like I think it's like pliable and soft because it's like so thick. Yeah, and small. It's very deep grooves Yeah, so I think that's right. That's why but like I think if it was a little bit like shallower then the rubber would feel a lot more like harder Yeah, something like that. Yeah. so it, it seems okay. I mean, there's really no Fraying or anything and the durability seems pretty good. Yeah, this, these are probably pretty durable yeah. uh, Probably approved for outdoor use. Yeah So on um, traction was uh, pretty good. I mean it just watch out on dust. It wasn't like I like I said It just wasn't like a great Stop, you know, that's it, you know, but other than that pretty pleased with the traction just not one like top tier, you know So there's that. Moving on to the cushion. The cushion is a blend of their Ignite slash Energy Beads. So you, it, like throughout the entire mid, so I think it's just Ignite, you know, kind of like in the front. Which is just a foam. Yeah, which is foam to the touch. It's like really, it's just, it's really stiff. Yeah, it is. Really stiff and then... Like they shouldn't even name that. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, you know, you think it's like something special, but it's not, not really. Yeah. And the Energy Beads, I think is a blend of kind of like their own take on boost yeah you know I, mean? I think it's uh it's the same type of material made from basf or the company that actually manufactures boost and probably a little bit blend of different types of foams and like their own little recipe um but yeah no it's real stiff like, yeah as you, you know? can see in the compression yeah uh shot here it's just it doesn't compress as much as you would think or it doesn't compress at all yeah so really at all I mean you know it, 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 to have boost like properties you'd expect it to be somewhat yeah soft but I feel like it's kind of just like like a little they just slapped it on here on the side right. I don't think it's like a full like unit or something you know yeah. right underneath your heel or something but like it just didn't feel great you know I thought at least the heel was gonna be good you know but yeah it's really stiff I mean one good thing is that the cord feels good uh, and impact protection didn't seem to be horrible, um, but it, it, it like it was, it wasn't very nice, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I was expecting a lot more. I was pretty excited with for this uh, energy beads, and ignite usually, you know, I I've, I've tried ignite in on in a lot of their other shoes, and it's usually stiff, yeah, and not very nice. So I wasn't really expecting much from the ignite, but 
yeah, mostly stiff. One good thing about the shoe is that the insole is really plush though. Mm -hmm. It's really soft. So that made it a little bit more comfortable. But obviously, insoles do bottom out, and I feel I feel like it bottomed out just a little bit. But it's still, it, it it improved the cushion just a little bit though. So yeah, cushion. I uh, was pretty disappointed in it. Well, it's not looking good. Eh, cushion's not too important though. I mean, yeah. it's, if it's okay in back protection and it's responsive, it's okay for me, you know? Well, what about the upper slash materials? What do we got here? Uh, okay, so it says on their website, the high performance textiles. Mm. But in, like in my first impressions, it feels like a, a tissue or a paper towel or something. Yeah. Like that. That's what texture It feels like. exactly like a paper towel. I feel like if, I, if I'm if i drinking water and I spill, I, I need to take tissue and just wipe it up, you know? I mean, it has the same texture, everything. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, so I mean, it doesn't feel very premium. You no. Know? Like, it's especially not only the toe material, but also like throughout the entire upper, they use a really shit synthetic leather material. And it yeah, just- it's pretty bad. Yeah, the quality is not there. You this, know? The actual Puma logo is somewhat nicer it's a, yeah, a of a bit. synthetic yeah. than, the, uh, than the rest. But yeah, then you have some of that, more of that high performance textile in running tone. in the tone, yeah. and kind of in the back end a little bit. And then you got this external, uh, just like thin TPU heel counter. Yeah. I wonder if there's an internal as well. Uh, I would assume so I because it's so. not that powerful. Yeah. It's not that, that rigid, this uh, external, external heel counter. But yeah, I mean, quality in hand, just it feels r real shit. You know, it, does, it doesn't feel good. But on foot, it's nice. You know, it's soft, it's really thin. It's actually pretty supportive as well. But like, I like to keep the toe soft. You know, like, I don't like it to be like stiff and rigid in the toe. So that, that's fine. And they added the synthetic leather where there needs to be support and stuff. So on foot, it felt great. Mm. It's just like the like $130 price tag with like really shit materials. I feel like they, they should be using these materials in like $80 shoes, you know? So uh, quality wise, not impressed, but on foot it's actually pretty nice, so. Yeah. All right, how's that fit? Fit, I went true to size. Uh, width wise, I'd say it's normal, you know, not super narrow. I wouldn't say super wide, but it, 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 there was a little bit of space width wise. I wasn't, I wasn't choked out or anything. So width wise, I was okay. And um, I, it was actually really nice for me, you know? like. Uh, no dead space really anywhere in the shoe for me and I also particularly really like this like it, it is a one booty but there's a tongue attached to it it's kind of weird you know yeah it's like you got like a little like two inches of, of little tongue action here <laughs> okay I mean? that's yeah. what she said yeah, that's but, what she um, said um, but yeah I mean fit for me was great easy to slide on the shoe as well uh, so yeah fit for me was great uh, support lockdown? Support lockdown is good too. You know, like, uh, you do have, I guess, this external TPU heel counter and also the foam coming up in the heel to cage you in. And also, I guess the foam does come up a little bit here in the forefoot area as yeah. well. Um, and the material, and I guess also like this Puma logo, does act as a counter for lateral movements. So, uh, lateral, I was really held into the footbed for lateral containment. And also lateral support seemed to be good. Uh, you know, it's a pretty low cushion. You have a pretty wide base. So I was laterally stable there. So yeah. Uh, so no lockdown problems? No lockdown, yeah. Uh, I was good. I mean, there is a pretty pronounced lip. Not yeah. really like a... No pillows, but a lip. Uh, just a nice lip. So uh, my heel was locked down as well. So supporting lockdown was really good. Uh, moving on to the weight. What the hell are you thinking? Ooh. Still pretty light. Yeah, maybe like well, I would say like average. I think no, like 12? twelve and a half. Yeah, twelve thirteen. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What? what? Yeah, I don't remember it being this heavy when we did the first impressions. What the hell? Holy shit! I mean, Wait, no, that has to be something's wrong. wrong. No. Fourteen point eight. That's crazy. Fourteen point eight ounces, like... dude. That's freaking heavy. It doesn't. It doesn't feel that heavy. No, not really. If I mean materials, yeah. Are we tripping? I guess I don't know. Is the is the thing broken? You want to try the adapts? Like what the fuck? The adapts are supposed to be like fifteen point five. Yeah, yeah. No, no. That's that's right. Wow. That is insane. Okay, so I guess it is really heavy. It, it didn't feel heavy on foot though. Right. I mean, it does feel a little bulky here in the heel area because you know it does protrude out a lot here. It is a little chunky in the heel area, but other than that, I mean, it's, materials are really thin. It feels pretty minimal on yeah. the foot, so, I mean, yeah. And it's also, it's actually pretty pretty responsive. I would have liked it to be a little bit better of a bite for traction, but other than that, it's a pretty responsive shoe. So, 
Um, I would, I'm very surprised. Yeah. I'm very surprised. But overall comfort walking around? Um, yeah. I mean, besides the insole being comfortable for cushion, like cush, uh, overall midsole is really stiff. Uh, I would say the fit and the materials being soft is a, a plus, but overall just like casually, I like to have a softer cushion, so yeah. not the most comfortable for me. And uh, what's the break-in time look like? Um, break-in time, I mean, it's good right out the box, I'd say. Okay. Yeah. Aesthetics. Aesthetics. Um, I don't know, man. Nah. Yeah. It, it's, I also don't really like the colorway too much. You know, actually, yeah. I don't know. Really? I, they're not horrible. You, the colorway or the... The, the the overall silhouette. Oh, really? I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. It's different. I'm not sure what I, I think. think I like the Clyde Quartz better, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, for sure. Uh, tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics. Uh, ventilation was okay. Um, it is really cold out, so it's kind of hard to gauge. But, you know, if you're going hard, usually your feet do get hot no matter how good the ventilation is. Unless it's like the Kobe 360. So, um, it was kind of hard to gauge, but it never got like super hot. Right. So, yeah. Durability. I feel like it, that, like, through, yeah. durability will be really good. What's going on here? Oh, uh, I think I just rub uh, like this. And but even still, that's not up. chill. Yeah, because this foam is kind of coming off a little bit. Yeah. Um, but, you know, wrapping things up, I enjoyed playing these. They weren't bad, you know? Like, it, it was solid in pretty much every category. And none of the categories were, it was like, horrible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, kind of a jack of all trades. Yeah, but exactly. Master of none. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, traction, yeah, not, not really top tier. Cushion, same thing. Material quality and stuff like that same thing so um i'd say it's a solid good performer but definitely not the best especially comparing to my favorite shoes to play right now and also for a, a pretty hefty i mean 130 bucks is pretty cheap but i mean i think from the qualities and quality of the materials and stuff it's just yeah you're not getting the best bang for your buck you know what i'm saying so i was kind of disappointed in that but if you just want a good performer and you like the puma uproar or you like pumas or whatever then uh you should be fine playing these you know yeah. I also like you should be good whatever position you're in. Uh, I mean like I, Terry Rozier is playing. He's a smaller guard, and versus I guess like Demarcus Cousins and uh, who else? Who's it? Marvin Bagley Jr. and all, yeah. all the big guys are playing in it too. So I mean a, any position should be okay playing this. So um, yeah, that's my performance review. If you guys want a copy pair, we'll leave a link in the description box. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next one. Later.